All day, every day, people in your business send and receive important emails. But how do you know that if you ever needed to retrieve a copy of any email, you'd be able to? And how do you know if your business is compliant? Well, that is where email archiving comes in. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. My MSP helps businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. In this video, we're gonna talk about what email archiving is, why email archive is not a backup, and five reasons why every business should consider an email archiving solution. So get yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. So what is email archiving? Well, put simply, when you use an email archiving solution, it means that every email that is sent or received from within your business is archived in a separate location. The email archiving solution is completely separate from your inbox. This means that if someone deletes emails from the mailbox, the email would still exist in the email archive. A good email archiving solution will also allow you to search and retrieve emails by using some simple search terms. Like for example, can you find an email sent from Jane Smith to client A on the 10th of July 2006? Now you might think that this email archiving business sounds a lot like backup. So before we talk about the reasons why I think every business should have a good email archiving solution in place, I think we should first discuss why an email archive is not a backup. So what is a backup? Well, a backup is to return a system or a file to a state that it existed in previously. You might do something as simple as delete a Word document and you need to restore it. Or it might be something large like a ransomware attack and you need to restore your entire computer system. With backups, you'll be restoring from a certain period in time. Plus, you wanna usually keep backups for a certain length of time. You might keep them for three months, six months, nine months, and once they're gone, they're gone. Now, if all you had was an email backup and you got the request that I mentioned above, please find any emails Jane Smith sent to client A on the 10th of July, 2006, then you'd be stuffed. Whereas with an email archive solution, you'd be able to pluck that email from your archives in just a couple of minutes. But to be quite clear, email backup and email archiving isn't an either or. You really need both because they serve completely different purposes. You shouldn't rely on an archive as a backup tool and you shouldn't rely on a backup tool as an archive. Now we know what an email archiving solution does, why would your business need one? Well, here are the five reasons why an email archive might be good for your business. The first and most obvious reason to archive emails is for compliance purposes. There are a lot of sectors that are required to retain data for a certain length of time. These sectors include financial, healthcare, and government. The retention of data, of course, includes emails and attachments. If we aren't using an email archiving solution, then there's no way, as a business owner, you know if your emails have been kept. The second reason to use an email archiving solution is to safeguard against data loss. Your team have the power over their own mailboxes. They can delete emails due to mistake or even maliciously. It's not uncommon for people to delete all of their emails from the mailbox when they leave the company. If you're using just Microsoft 365 and you delete an email, it goes into your deleted items folder. If you then delete it from your deleted items folder, then it goes to another place called recoverable items. But after 14 days, it's completely gone. Even if you have a recommended third party backup in place, which means you can restore mailboxes and emails, you would only keep backups for a certain length of time. Once the backup has been overwritten, the emails are gone. With an email archiving solution, you would still have a copy of each email going in and out of your business. Another reason why your business should be using an email archiving solution is to support your business if it becomes involved in any legal proceedings. Your business might be required to retrieve and submit some data upon request, which could include email messages. 
If you didn't have the fantastic search functions that an email archiving solution has, this process could be timely and inefficient, and it could lead to gaps in the data that you have. Another reason for email archiving is simply for productivity. We've known firms of solicitors who have always had huge email mailboxes, which at times could cause performance problems. With an email archiving solution, the firm knew that everything was archived, so they took the step to automatically delete any emails in the mailboxes that were older than three months old. This kept the mailboxes nice and clean, and they still had access to all the emails in their archiving solution. The final reason why you would want to implement an email archiving solution in your business is perhaps a little bit controversial. It's simply to keep a check of your team. We have customers who like having access to other people's mailboxes so they know what is happening in their businesses. This isn't necessary to catch people out. If people know that their emails are monitored, then they are less likely to spend time sending social emails, which in turn increases their productivity. So when it comes to email archiving solutions, what do I recommend? Well, the biggest player in the email archiving space is a company called Mimecast. Mimecast is an industry leader in email security and email archiving. Lots of law firms and accountants use Mimecast as their preferred provider. The Mimecast product archives your emails for 99 years, which is a long time. Because Mimecast is one of the market leaders, it's also quite an expensive product. There's also another downside to using Mimecast when it comes to email archiving. If you decide down the line that you want to leave Mimecast and use another product, then Mimecast will charge you quite a high fee to take your archives with you. This is a very good way to tie you in to their product. Another product that I recommend for email archiving is one called Mailstore. Now, Mailstore is really flexible. You can actually host this product yourself, so there's no tie-in to a provider. My IT support company hosts Mailstore for lots of our law firm clients from our data center in Yorkshire. But whatever product you choose, I would really recommend email archiving for any business. It's an extra tool in your security armory. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.